Hey guys, Creepy Commander here. This is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Definitely wasn't about to say Pokemon Conquest again. Anyways, last time, we stole Time Gear. But we discovered everything was frozen still. Apparently, nothing was good. Bring the, them back to nothing. So we stole it anyway. And as Gravel went to go grab the others, he told us to look for Lost Land. We don't know where that is. So after we got to choose very different prompts, which meant pick just clicking A because there was only one choice for multiple questions. We decided to go back to the guild. And get their help for looking at looking for it. This is chapter seventeen, the guild's crew. And uh, yeah, let's do this. Sorry for your random noises. My chair is still s makes noises when I roll on it. Just kidding, it makes noises literally anytime anything happens on it. Here we are, really tough guild. Feels like we haven't been here in a long time, but. Now that we're here, it feels kind of awkward to go in. After all, we did vanish in front of everyone in a mysterious way. It would be sort of awkward, even embarrassing, to walk in out of blue. No, we can't go around acting embarrassed now. We have to see everyone and tell them the truth. Okay, I'll stand above the sentry post. Pokemon detected. Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? Footprint belongs to. Footprint belongs to. What's wrong, Diglett? Respond! Respond! What? Hey, Diglett! Where do you think you're burrowing off to? That? That footprint. It's Chicky. What? 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 Hey, it is Chicky. Creative too. Diglett! Long time to see. <laughs> <laughs> There's an earthquake. What? What is that? Hey. Hey, hey, it's true. Oh my gosh, it really is Creative Chicky. You're both alive! We worried so much about you. I, 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 I was, I called it. Oh, everyone, we're home. I like how Charles doesn't even care. Welcome home, Jiggy Creative. <laughs> that, just, welcome home. What, what was that again? Just, just hold on for a moment. Let me get the story straight. Okay. <laughs> Let me summarize your story so far. First, Grove Alex is actually a good Pokemon. It was clicking time gears to save the world. Yep. And the Raid Duskmar only pretends to be kind and helpful, but he was actually an anus... A, a heinous and wicked villain. Yep. Even though I didn't fra really phrase it as heinous and wicked. Also, Greta was fine. Was really Grove Alex's partner. Yep. So Duskmar wanted to get rid of both Grove creative and grow so he took him to the future. Yep, and me too. Then you then you managed to escape from Duxmar by the skin of your teeth. You barely made it back home from the future. Yep. And finally this plant will soon become paralyzed. And to prevent that, Grovel started gathering time gears away again. Meanwhile you two are looking for a place called the Hidden Land. Is that your story in its full entirety? Yep, that's all of it. He's gonna like burst out laughing saying that's like a joke, isn't it? Have bad dream or something. What did I call that? How did I call that? <laughs> what? How do you two go to your room and get some rest? Now hold on a second. Are you accusing us of lying? What we told you, we just told you all is true. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure you two are suffering from exhaustion. A good nap will fix that. It's not it, Chadog. Please believe us. We're not lying. It's quite enough. So tell me, is there any part of your story that's remotely plausible? A place called the Hinland? I'm the head of intelligence here, and there's no such I've heard no such place. Besides, Great Duskmar is far too kind for anything you've alleged. Well, yes, I didn't believe the truth about Duskmar either. It was a huge shock. It was really hard to accept. But, I'll hear no more of this. I don't care what you say. Great Duskmar, that's simply unbelievable. Seriously, don't you two feel the same way? How can anybody seriously think of the Great Duskmar's villain? We hold Duskmar in great and high esteem. We cannot believe it. See? See? 
See? Everyone shares the same opinion. But, hmm? What is this up for? There's something I don't understand. That time, when the squad was able to return to the future. It's too soon for farewells. What? You two are coming with me. What? My gosh. Tricky. Creative. What, 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 what just happened? What Dustmar did then, it was strange any way you look at it. Really? Do you think so? Don't you think that... <laughs> Chicken Creative fell to the control hole by accident? No, why? Dustmar grabbed Chicken Grave and yanked him in. Hey, hey, that's right. It looks like looked that way to me, too. Hey, hey, what happened was really weird. Gosh, I really had to wonder why Dustmar really did something like that. If if, if what Chicky said was true, then what Dustmar did suddenly makes perfect sense. Why? Wait a minute. So is that what you think now? Are you actually saying that you, you believe Chick what Chicky and Greed are claiming? Well, what's your answer? Uh, I believe them. What? What'd you say? So, Bidoof, you're, cl you're now claiming that the great Duskmore was is a villain. Oof. Golly, I surely did think I had the great Duskmore. The whole idea sounds troubling when you put it that way. But there's something more important here. Yep, yep, Creative and Chicky are more important. That's why I believe what Chicky and Creative have to say. What, what, what? Bidoof? Hey, hey, I believe too. Me too, oh my gosh. They're our guild colleagues after all. Oh, core fish and stuff, Laura. I believe them. Me too. So do I. Casting down our colleagues is, colleagues is wrong. Trust is a must. Squawk! Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for leaving us. Well, hi. Sounds like we all agree. Huh? We all believe in our friends. That's great. But let's begin searching for the inland. Whoa. Just hold on there, Guildmaster. What's wrong? We're not all in agreement yet, are they're gonna start on. Huh? We're all good with the story. But I suspect Chadot is convinced. <laughs> oh, is that all? You don't need to worry about Chadot. Huh? Chadot is convinced, right? Huh? Because Chadot believed in Chicky's story all along. Right, Chadot? <laughs> <laughs> what? How peculiar. Well, Guildmaster is no fooling you, I admit it. Yes, I believe Chicky and Cricket from the start. Oh, really? But if I would have said that, I believe in right away. Everyone would have just gone along with what I said. What's all this? That's why it's so contrary. I wanted to pull your, put your friendship to the test. Gosh, likely story. But without a doubt, I was convinced from the get-go. I knew everyone would truly believe their colleagues. Says you. He, <laughs> he. Creative, Chicky. I believe you. You're good friends and guild membership. Now listen, everyone. Time is stopping in more and more places. From Chicky's story, we know our world is in danger. That means we have to do something. This is our time. In the name of the Wiggly Tufts Guild, we'll combine all our efforts. We'll discover Thin Land. Let's do this, everyone. Hooray. Chat out. Yes, sir. Okay, everyone. From now on, we're shifting all our efforts to locating the Hidden Land. We also have to let everyone know what's happening in our world. It's going to get busy. We're all going to have to work hard. Sure will. I'll put her down in the treasure town. I'll get the word out, by golly. I'll go, too. We have to let Izelf and his friends know, too. If they're back at their lakes, they may try to stop Google Isle. Hey, hey, then I'll go tell them. Okay, everyone else, search for in the hidden land, please. Yeah. Bidoof, some floor, and the others. Once your errands are done, gather information on the hidden land. Yes, sir. We'll hurry. We'll find the hidden land together. Yoomta. Hooray. All right, let's search some guts. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry to know I don't have any information on the hidden land, but maybe the wise Torkoal, the town elder, might know something. Torkoal, the town elder? He would be the wisest and oldest Pokemon of town. He loves the hot spring, so he's always there. In fact, I'm positive you'll find him at the hot spring. Oh, I remember. Mm-hmm. Goodness, it was the water that carried you all this way. What a long journey that must have been. Let the hot spring wash away your fatigue before you make your way home. Good idea. We'll do that. Thanks. Didn't we have, like, a shell us there or something? I don't remember. It's him. It's that nice old Pokemon we met. You should put his years to wisdom to use. Go ask Corkful for advice. I think we got to the hot spring the first time through Wide Cave. Warfall Cave. Let's go. Off to the hot spring. But first, it is getting late. Besides, you must be hungry. Huh? My stomach growled. Uh-huh, used it too. 
should have dinner. He gets a good good night's sleep. There, we can all get to work tomorrow. Hey, Graves belly crawled again. Ho oh, ho! Did everyone hear that? What a laugh, Graves. Letting your belly bark back at Carmeco, eh? Ha ha ha. I love that now there's always three open slots because Team Skull's useless. And probably dead. It's been a while since we've been in this room. Feels as though I'm finally home. You know, I'm glad everyone believed our story. Got a little emotional over it. Let's go meet Tomorrow Cole tomorrow and talk with him. Let's get back at it tomorrow, Creative. Next morning. Up and out of the morning. Uh, good morning. It's literally just a normal intro. <laughs> you know, like, uh, uh, it's so hard to get used to that. Something like that. Ahem. So wrapping up. Everyone's aware of their duties today? The goal, yes. I'm all ready to go. Good. Those of you investigating the hidden land... Those of you spreading the word about the true state of affairs, I expect you to organize your teams ex accordingly and get along. Let's get right to it, people. Rare. I think he said everyone, but I'm just, I can't read. We must go to the hot spring and get the information for Rizal Tokol. I think we have to go through Warwickvall Cave first to get to the hot spring. So let's make our way towards the hot spring. I have 4,000. I just want to check what there is. I also need to organize my team, don't I? What? Oh, number. That's what it was. <laughs> I was confused. Of course, I have to add Scorpy back onto it, the team. He's like a central part of the team, to be honest. I think I'm actually going to like do a lot of setting up. So I am going to go ahead and s stop recording and um, start going through all my... S actually, let's check on Chansey. The egg hatched. <laughs> A healthy Tauros. Look at his smiles. It's adorable. <laughs> I'm not even going to change the name. I, I, I feel bad. Baby. It's a baby. I feel awful. <laughs> I never even talked to you ever. Alright, so I'm actually gonna go now. Hold up, let me do this. Hey guys, Creve. What? 
Did I almost do my intro again? I'm so dumb. Anyways. Well. Oh. Ahoy, are you headed to the beach? Well, would you keep an eye out for something if you could? Recently, there have been bottles washing up on the beach. It seems as though they're inside, something is inside those bottles. If you look for interest, if it, so that sounds interesting, you might want to look for bo bottles on the beach. I was just wandering around so I could continue wa talking. While I was watching on the beach, bottles with something in them. Sounds interesting. Sounds like they're only washing up now and then. Wherever you head for, head for the beach, we can look for a bottle. I'll take it out. Sure. How that got there from Apple Woods, I have no idea. Anyways, let's go to Waterfall Cave. Pretty sure that because the levels of the Pokemon will stay the same, that we're going to be like one shotting things with our regular attacks. No? Yes, two shots. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. I opened up all of those boxes, and I also ended up linking one of Absol's moves. So that bite would be used along with um, a sword stance. I don't really know how it works, but I also opened up all these. And, well, let's just say now if Shiki has more attack, which is pretty cool. No. Well, that's disappointing. Come back, Scorpy. Alright. Well, you found the stairs.
here we are. Hot spring. Oh, we skipped the entire cutscene. Hot spring. <clears throat> Oh, my young friends, come to wash away your exhaustion. Oh, not so. You see, you seek my wisdom. Well, there's no better place than this to share your story. Oh, I see the hidden land. You say? I have heard of it. Oh, really? Hidden land is truly a place of legend. It is tarred tor at least, at best, handed down by oral tradition. No matter. Please tell us. Well, of course, I could tell you only what I've heard. Hidden land lies beyond the sea, in the hidden place, the story goes. In place? Yes, the hidden land only allows the chosen to find it. To go there, one must possess certain qualities. Oh, a place with only, only certain, with po someone with proper qualifications can go to. Okay, Torkoal, what are those qualifications? They are... Er, er, now what were they? I'm sorry, it slipped my mind. Oh, no, you can't remember. Please, Torgo, please remember. This is really important. That's easy for you to say, but, er, um... Well, that's it. You need proof. You need proof and so forth. Yes, I was it. Proof. Proof? What kind of proof? Well, that would be... Er, um... Forgive me. I've forgotten again. Oh, you can't remember. I, I'm sorry to disappoint you. All right. Can you recall anything else at all? No, that's all. Forgive me, youngsters. If I recall what proof you need, I'll be sure to let you know. Yes, please. Thank you, Torgo. Let's go back to the guild. Well, it's disappointing. Hmm. So Torgo couldn't provide us with many answers. That's too bad. Oh, that's not entirely true. We know we need proof. And knowing that is a step forward. Right? Hey, hey, we're searching too. Yeah, but we didn't find anything. But there's no giving up. Just keep trying, my golly. I'll keep trying too. We should have dinner and rest up for the night. We'll zoom our efforts tomorrow. Oh, well, thanks everyone. Lots of eating, food, munch, 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 munch. It's a cutscene. It's a cutscene. I wonder how Grova is doing. Has he collected the time gears? We have to hurry too. There's no point in getting all worked up. Ever, especially since everyone is helping out. We should get some sleep. We should then start a fresh effort tomorrow. Okay, good night. Next morning. Up on our woman's morning. Uh, good morning. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. I think I just. Yeah. That's better. Ahem, so Detroit, the hidden lane remains surrounding the mystery. We're not giving up. Ray. Let's get out there and investigate once again today. Let's kill everyone. Ray. Where should we go and investigate today? We've already talked to the Torkoal. I don't know where to look next. Pokemon detected. Pokemon detected. Who's footprint? Who's footprint? Footprint belongs to Torkoal, the town elder. Footprint belongs to Tolko, the town elder. What? Torkoal is here? That means he remembered. <laughs> Father, I caught up with you. Climb up to the skills is hard on these old bones. What brings you here, Torkoal? Did you maybe remember something? Uh, did I did. But I recalled only one more tiny thing, sorry to say. Yesterday I contemplated the waters of the hot spring for a long time. Finally, one recollection surfaced. But it really is something small. A worry would even be sh worthwhile sharing with you. Not a worry. Every little bit of information helps, however small. Please, say it, say it. Today, when we spoke of the tr when we spoke of the travel to the hidden lane yesterday, I said you needed proof of your qualification to go there. Remembered a bit more about that proof. The proof bears an inscription of a certain pattern. A certain pattern. Hey, hey, so what kind of pattern would that be? Er, how can I describe it? It's difficult to describe it. What I can tell you is that the pattern is quite intricate and odd. It's a, pe it's a peculiar pattern. The kind of pattern you rarely see. The pattern you rarely see. Rolly. You think I could think of something? trying to think of such a thing. It's not easy in one tries. Mm, what could it be? What kind of pattern you really see? What could a pattern look like? 
pattern you probably see. Peculiar. Wait a second. Peculiar pattern? Peculiar pattern. I remember about that time. It just it's, it just happened. That I found this relic fragment. Sure, it does look like junk, but take a closer look. Look right there. See that strange pattern described on it? It's true. It, there is a strange inscription. Never seen a pattern like this. That's it. The relic fragment was inscribed with a peculiar pattern. What is it? Pardon? A relic fragment? Oh, right. That pattern. Excuse me. Could you have a look at this, please? Oh. Th this is it. It's a pattern exactly like this. What? Wh where'd you get this? I, uh, um, I can't even say if I remember where. Just happened to pick it up. Yippee! This is fabulous. Since Chicky has this, does this mean is Chick that Chicky's qualified to go to the Hidden Land? That? I wouldn't know. Maybe yes, maybe no. To go to the Hidden Land, one must surely possess that proof. But it doesn't necessarily mean that the bearer of the proof really possesses the qualifications to be chosen. That proof may merely be the physical key to the Hidden Land. Even before that, though, this shares the same inscribed pattern. There's no sure connection between this relic fragment and the Hidden Land. Oh, but there's no question that this pattern has something to do with the Hidden Land. Knowing that, knowing only that is a lot. I suppose so. Wait, you do realize that the Hidden Land is only a spoken legend, right? You're surely not trying to find the Hidden Land. Yes, we are. My goodness, what a surprise. Shut up. This pattern. We've seen this somewhere, haven't we? What? <laughs> yes. The sea and let's the northwest inside Brine Cave. But Gilmaster, that place. Yes, I know. The vicious bandit was there. A vicious bandit? My golly. Everyone, please listen. I once saw the same pattern deep inside a cave called Brine Cave. I think we can discover more by taking the rel fragment there. However, there is one problem. Pokemon Lurkster, who's a vicious bandit. Hey, hey we're not allowed to bet about to let that scare us. Aren't we explorers? We need to be brave. Thanks, everyone. This place is challenging. Everyone should take time today to get ready. We'll set off for Brian Cave tomorrow. Hooray! Ho, ho, ho. I thought that the headline was nothing more than folklore. Getting old has made my thinking so inflexible. That's very sad. This song makes me remember those days when I dreamed of romance and adventure. Help me see my dreams again. Do your best. <laughs> yep, you can count on us. Thank you, Torko. That was nothing. Ho, ho, ho. Alright, everyone. Spend the rest of the day getting ready. Okay, dismissed. Hooray. Yep, yep. We'll get ready, by golly. Oh my gosh, this will be so exciting. Shut up. Shut up. You stay at the guild tomorrow and stand by. Guildmaster, forgive me if I'm out of line, but... Please let me go to Brian Cave. Nope. Can't let you face danger like that ever again. But that's why. That's why I must go. Please take me to Brian Cave. Okay. Then I want you to go with Team Commanders tomorrow. Guide Crave's team to the place where you saw the strange pattern. But I want you to be careful. Thank you. I won't let you down. Another thing. I have something I need to do, so I have to go out. You're in charge while I'm gone. As you wish. So that's where it stands. You two will be meet with me tomorrow. As such, Team Commander's non-guild members may not come along. Bright Cave is a vicious has a vicious foe laying, lying in wait. You mustn't let down your guard. And don't do anything that keeps me from succeeding there. Okay. Creative. We should go get ready. Let's go down to Treasure Town. First, I'm gonna go talk to Crow Gunk. See if I want to see what this is real quick. Hop up, never mind. It's useless. Evening bow? That's useless. Worm bow? Bow, that's worming name. What does Torch Torch card do? Special defense? That's not bad. Torch of Dial do? Defense? I, I'm i not complaining. I'll just have to come back here so I can get. Because I need more money. Oh, cutscene. Oh, to be young again. If I was younger, I'd certainly join the challenge to find the inland. Whoa, ho, ho. Hold it there, old timer. Who is it? <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh, last episode, I think I even talked about how Team Skull is useless. That's ironic. What, what is it? What do you want? Cool. Whoa, well, we're Team Skull. Uh -huh. Do you have business with the really tough skill, old timer? Ho oh, ho ho, I heard you say something that sounded fun. Think about the hidden lion, ho oh, ho. I, I was oldly. Huh? Someone's coming. Ho oh, oh, ho, oh. guild champs? Old timer, why don't we take this chat somewhere where we won't be disturbed? Ho oh, ho. Hey. What was the Applewoods is one I took. Well you're gonna have to wait a little bit, Lop Honey. I think it was Lop Honey. But Bunny Ari. That was close. Of course there's not a single Applewoods one here. So apparently I was looking through a guide for something. I think I mean it was this game. Apparently, if you have only question marks, there's a chance that you get those eggs, or you. I want flamethrower. I want flamethrower. Chicky is a would be a beast with flamethrower, an absolute unit. Think about it. I am rich. And, uh, nothing all that useful except for maybe buying a blue. No. I do not want to buy blue gummy. Let's see. Aerial Ace, False Swipe. What is the f Why would I want that, though? Um, well then, I should probably put away my, uh, some of these items to be honest. I have one, I almost completely empty of storage. It's actually kind of funny. I'm just going to appraise that real quick. It's probably going to be just another item I can't use because I don't have the team member for it. Or a person man, which is arguably worse. We should go over the Sharpedo Bluff before we go back to the yield. Just in case, go Files, come back. Let's go check out. I, I don't know where Sharpedo Bluff is. Is it down here? No. Maybe, oh, it's probably all the way to the right, isn't it? I forget sometimes. I wonder if Gofal's back. Let's go. Nope.
Corval isn't here. Oh, over there. There's a sheet of paper here. There's something written in it, or on it, in footprint runes. This is a letter from Groval. Must be a message for us. I'll read it. Chicky began reading a letter from Groval. To creative Chicky. How are you doing? How goes your search for the hinterland? Things are going well on my end. I've already collected three time gears. I've only I have only to find two more time gears. I plan to join you and I've collected all five. Plans are going smoothly. I've proceeded smoothly. Azolf and his friends understood the situation. They fully cooperated. Azolf told me the members of your guild let them know I was coming. Thank you. It's heartening to know that more and more Pokemon are coming to trust us. However, I'll continue to stay away from Treasure Town and the Guild. First, I'm not certain this world would trust me f or entirely or not. But there's something more troubling than that. Dusmar is liable to return from the future at any time. Dusmar? Come to think of it, Dusmar failed to get rid of us in the future. When past put it past him to chase him here, he still wants us gone. Okay, I'll finish reading. Since Dusmar will be coming, we should keep a low profile. This is another reason why I should stay away, for, stay away from the Treasure Town and the Guild. I may inst I instead come back to Sharpio Bluff at the beach. If we should meet, we can then exchange information. Good luck on your end. Together, we shall stop Prance Paralysis. Okay, sounds like Gravel is hard at work. Can't fail on our end. Going to this letter, Gravel will either show up here or at the beach. If we go down to the beach, maybe we'll see Gravel there. Let's go to the beach before we go back to Guild. Oh, crap, crap, crap. <laughs> that was the end of the chapter already? Well. Torkoal is kidnapped, but he also helped us. And we're going off to the Brian Cave, where I presume something has to do with... Uh, I don't know. Who could be? Anyways, thank you. This has been Creepy Commander. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, I'll have an outro. You heard me snap this time. I, I kind of forgot to hit the stop recording button, so I just spent all that time doing a um outro that I didn't even need to do. Wonderful.